Have you ever wanted to be an artist, but you just don't know how to make art? Well, be sure to like and subscribe because we're going to have you making art like Da Vinci by the end of this episode. And be sure to round up those kids so we can all have fun together. So first off, to be a great artist, you're going to need a great canvas. And I prefer to use uh, the back of beer cases. It was a tip to me uh, I got when I was uh, downtown in the city one time. I seen a homeless guy. He was writing a sign on one. And I just thought, wow, that is a genius way to recycle. And just a clever canvas, too. And so I went home. I immediately started uh, painting on all these different kinds of uh, beer cases. And I personally found that bush... It works the best it the paint takes to it perfect every time and so that's what I'm gonna be using here today you can use Heineken you can use cruise light they also work good too and uh, yeah so just a little tip I picked up on the way and this can be all a little few tips all throughout this video and I can't wait to share them with you so now that you got your canvas picked out uh, the next thing we're gonna need is something to paint well Unfortunately, I don't really have much to paint around here. So I went over, I asked my neighbor Ben if I could borrow a magazine, and luckily he came through for me. He uh, just gave me this, and so I'm just going to look through that, and I'm going to find a model that I can post up on this uh, easel right here, and we're going to get painting in no time. So, fortunately, we were able to find a beautiful uh, picture that we can draw. Unfortunately, she is topless and looks like she's about to eat a hot dog. So. We don't know what rules there are on YouTube, so we're just going to blank out the breast. The hot dog, we're not too sure. It does kind of look like a penis, and so we're just going to blank that one out too. But we assure you, it is a hot dog that she she's eating. It, she looks hungry. So all you're going to need is just a pencil, and this will work on anything you're drawing too. It could be a sailboat. It could be a tree. It could be a landscape of any kind. You just want to come in and basically just do a quick outline of whatever it is that you're drawing. So got our arm right there. Come on. Now that we got it outlined, you just want to come in here with some uh, paint, whatever kind you want. I got a little bit of tan here, it's as close as I can get to a skin color. And I'm just going to quickly go around, just do a quick uh, outline, because we're going to be doing some uh, multimedia art today. It's not just going to be paint we're going to be using here, boys and girls. We're going to be getting crazy. I got a few things to use for the necklace here, it's going to be a surprise, and the hair too. I got a few objects we're going to use for that. It's not just going to be paint. Art isn't just about paint, it could be whatever you want. It could. Art is anything. Art is life. You know what I mean? So, a lot of people like to use brushes. I learned at a very young age, uh, my finger works the best. Just get get in there. Feel it. You want to feel that paint on the finger. You want to taste it a little bit. You really want to feel that art. It's going to really let your emotions come out onto the canvas. So, yeah, just come in with your finger like that. You just want to start fingering it. Just start fingering the cardboard as much as and as hard and as frequent as you can. You want to rub it, rub it around like that. Just get a little bit of a rubbing. Just like that, just like that. And yeah, just uh, be as liberal with it as you want. You can do one finger, you can do two fingers. You can really get in there. I'll even do the two. Two finger Tommy is what they used to call me back in college. Yeah, so yeah, get right in there. And uh, yeah, just do a quick little outline. It's once you got it all filled in, we're going to fill it in with more uh, stuff that's really going to make this uh, pop. Do you guys love America? Well, here at Steve's Super Duper Stuff, we got all the stuff to keep you super patriotic. We got cans of cheese. We got cups with flags on them. Fourth of July is coming up. We know it's going to get crazy. We got meth pipes. If you really want to get crazy, we got glow sticks with flags on them. That's for the ones that really want to get buck wild. I put one of these pins on today, and I honestly haven't felt more free. I put it on, and I just felt the freedom flowing through my body. So call now today, Steve Super Duper Stuff, where we got all your American stuff. And if you call today, we'll even throw in a free gun. Got her all filled in here. And I did a little bit of an outline, just in case you can see a little bit better. Just brings out our model a little bit more. Um, I got a little bit of Tuscan Red here. I'm going to use that. I'm just going to put a little bit out on there. And I'm just going to thumb it. I'm just going to thumb it right on there. Just give her a bit of a tongue. Like she wants to really go for that hot dog. You know what I mean? Like she really wants to taste it. So just come in there. 
There you go. Give her a nice little bit of a tongue like that. Tuscan red. Works every time. So next up, while that's drying, I'm going to be uh, working on her necklace here. And I'll be using a bit of macaroni. And a lot, I know there's a lot of arguments on the internet about what makes the best jewelry. People say penne. I like, I'm a macaroni guy myself. And so you're just going to need a little bit of macaroni, a little bit of crazy glue. And you just want to go along and just glue it right on. Right on, you can do whatever design you want. And if you want, you can even lay out your macaroni beforehand. If you got some gold paint, feel free, or silver too, whatever your style is. And just spray the macaroni first. You want to let that dry. And then just come in after and, uh, yeah, just glue it on there. And there you go. You're good to go. You can use penne too, like I said. I know there's a lot of uh, arguments on Reddit about this subject. I've been right into them myself. Uh, I've been a macaroni guy my whole life, and I'm not changing now. So next up, all you want to do is just take your macaroni. You can put the crazy glue right on the canvas and place the macaroni. I personally just like to, I don't know if it'll be on there. I just take a little bit. Just get it on that macaroni right there. Again, you can use penne. You can use uh, linguine. You could use almost any pasta you want. No, fuck, that doesn't want to stay. Okay, sometimes you might want to use a little, little bit extra crazy glue on the macaroni just to really help it get on that canvas right there. Come on, stay, stay, you son of a bit. Get on. Get on. Oh, such a pain in the ass. Get on. Okay. So now that our macaroni necklace is on there, we're going to let that dry for a little bit. Well, that's drying. I'm going to start working on the hair. I know a lot of you are wondering, Steve, how are you going to put hair on this woman? Are you going to cut your own hair? No, no, not, that's not till later. For now, luckily today, I cut my lawn. And I find grass makes really good hair. So all you're going to want to do, you just want to come in here, a little bit of glue. You can take your canvas off at this point and just kind of, just give her, come on, stop, thing. Come on. So now that we got our glue laid out in the way we want our hair to be laid out, I'm just going to take a little bit of grass and you just take the grass, just come along, just, just put it in there any way you want and yeah, just, just stick it on there. It will stick. You're going to want to use green grass. Well, it doesn't really matter. But whatever you got in your backyard will work just fine. Just fine. And you can already see the image just coming to life. Eh? Look at that. Like, Can you even tell? I know. It's not that hard, people. I told you. People always tell me, Steve, how do you do it? And it's easy. It's so simple. It's basically stuff I learned in grade two. So, now that we've got our hair all laid out, that's about it. You just want to let that uh, dry out for a little bit. And actually, I forgot, we're going to give her a little bit of an earring right here, too. And we're going to use uh, the old classic macaroni for that one, too. So, you just want to take your glue. A little bit of glue here. We're just going to hang it right Glued my fingers together. Fucking. Ah. All right. So, God damn it. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of glue right here, and I'm just gonna put it right around there, and just stick it on there. Stay on there. Stay on there. Stay. It doesn't want to stay. So now we finally got our earring on, and now we're gonna be working on the eyeball. And if you're like me. I know eyeballs are really tricky to draw. So what I like to do, I like to just go through a, a magazine and just find one. And I went, I found a perfect one right here. That's just going to work great right there. So all you want to do, you just want to take a little bit more, a bit more glue and just find that eye position right where it works best. And you want to stick that eyeball on just like that. And yeah, so that's how I do the eyeballs for the most part. I don't really like to draw them. I usually just like to cut out other people's eyeballs out of magazines and then just put them on my art. Now, while we're making the nipples, I personally like to use just a little piece of pepperoni. I know there's a lot of opinions on the internet about this. There's a lot of artists saying, no, don't use pepperoni, use kielbasa. 
I've been using pepperoni ever since I've been in about grade five, I like to say, and it's always made the perfect nipple. So that's what I'm going to be using here today. And so you just want to take a little bit of crazy glue, get it right on that pepperoni, right on the edges, right wherever it's going to be. Just, just lather that pepperoni and crazy glue and just stick it right where you're going to want that nipple. Come on, stay. Will it stay for me? Come on. Yeah, so there we go. Just like that. So finally, I'm just going to take a hot dog that I cut down to the appropriate size here and just a little bit of crazy glue. And I'm just going to take a little bit on the back there. I don't know if you can see that. Just You just liberal with it as you want on the back of the hot dog. And I'm just going to want to try and stick it right. Won't she stay? Come on, stay. Stay. There we go. Okay. And actually, you can't really see it yet, but uh, there is a little bit of black grass growing out of the top of the hot dog. I don't know if she, she just likes eating moldy hot dogs or something, but do where I said I wouldn't cut my hair or it would come in later. Here's where it comes in. So I haven't gotten a haircut in a while, so I'm going to take a little bit of this. Just a little bit, maybe, maybe a little bit more. Take a little bit more. Okay, so now we got our black grass. And I'm just going to, same thing as before, as we did with the grass. Sucker. And just put a little bit of glue on there, just above the top of the hot dog like that, like it is in the picture. You can't really see it all that well. But yeah, so I'm just going to take a little bit, and that's just going to work just like that. A little bit of black grass. You'll never know it's hair. It looks just like black grass. Well, thanks for watching everybody, and I hope you all learned something today. And if you've got a little bit of uh, cardboard at home, some grass, some noodles, some pepperoni, a hot dog, a little bit of paint, you can make your own art at home just like me. So be sure to like this video, subscribe, comment down below, tell me what kind of art you're into, and if you want me to make that kind of art next time, I'll be uh, happy to do it for you. Thanks for watching.